So wait a minute, where the hell are your headlights at? Hmm? Where the hell are your headlights at? They bolt from back here. I'm setting the sides around the back. I never finished it. Mm. This was just a service garage thing that I plugged in so I could see while I was driving to move it around the shop. We're back on the uh, OMG again. Show them the wheel on the back of the truck. Okay. This is the back wheel. That's the back wheel, see? That's the back wheel. Okay, it's got two more treads than the front wheel. That's the front wheel. There we go. That's the front wheel. Yeah. No, you're not mistaken. Those are real Kregers. These are not SS. These are magnesium Kregers. And this is a bias ply tire. You can see the uh when the inside is painted purple. My guy at the tire store was amazed to see one of those wheels after all these years. And he remembers selling them to me years ago, and I brought it in about that <coughs> the valve stem had rotted off of it, sitting in storage. This one is unfortunately probably not going to recover. It's got uh, a, I'm uh, not sure why, but it we got looks almost mark. as if uh, some. It almost it looks as if it's been ice picked or something, unless the way that rubber is rolled back like that. It may have actually been a flaw in the tire that fizzled out over the years and just went down really slow. But uh, she's here. When we parked it, it ran. The gas is 14 years old, so um, and, uh, they want to try to pull the fuel from the tank. Since we were here putting the tires on to get it aired up to tow, she decided to puke on the floor. Behind the front tire, this is front tire. We're behind the front tire between the fender, the fender here, and the door. This is transmission fluid that it's puked out. Since we've been here. Since we've been here. But this fluid doesn't mean that it's bad. No. What, what does this mean? This means that uh, when these old cars sit, I learned this when working for uh, the world's largest hearse dealer. When you leave them set in storage, the transmission has a tendency to bleed off the uh, torque converter and overfill the transmission and then it pukes out through either the dipstick or the pan gaskets or whatever. And you think you've got a bad trans and you will if you start it and try to move it without starting it up and leaving it run in park yep. for a couple of hours and then just slowly feed trans fluid back in it. You don't need to worry about seals or anything. Yeah, you might think it's blown, but it's not. Uh, it's, a, it's a safety precaution. If you leave it sit and run, sometimes they'll even hammer from sitting for 20 years as if uh, it almost sounds like it's got a blown rod. But don't rev it up or nothing. Just let it sit and knock. And the lifters and everything will go back into place and get all limbered up. And you'd be amazed at... Uh, what I've resurrected over the years that's not mine for folks because they didn't know and they thought they had done some epic fail and it was just the nature of the beast. It's but stuff it, uh, like that that people don't tell you. That's okay. Things. That's a safety precaution from the transmission going, whoa, I got too much fluid, I gotta get rid of this shit. Have a nice day.